Still look like it's going to be all right? It's still looking pretty good. I'm thinking we're going to be good. It's going to slide down the hill at some point. I know. Right. We might have to go forward more. If it doesn't slide, I think we'd be good. But if it's going to slide, we're going to need to go forward. It just depends when it slides. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know how far it's going to go. I wouldn't think it would go more than a foot at the most. If it goes more than a, if it goes that much, yeah, we're going to have to go forward. There she goes. Well now, that was exciting. Last night I went to bed thinking about how am I gonna get this telephone pole in the ground. Talked to my father-in-law and said, hey, do you got any ideas? He said, no, but I'll come over in the morning. I got to thinking, he's got a dump trailer. Well, he called me up around 5.30 this morning and said, hey, you up? I said, yeah. He said, I'm on my way to the Lumber Yard. I got my dump trailer on. I was thinking, I said, I think I know what you were thinking. And it worked out just great. We got that all done by eight o'clock this morning. Now we need to now we need to mix up some concrete and get the concrete set in place and let it get all stiffened up and we can finish the rest of it. All the wheelbarrows we have have a hole in them. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna mix it right in here. We've got three bags, should be more than enough. That bag was sitting in our basement since our concrete countertop build. If you haven't seen the videos to where we built our concrete countertop, I'll put a link to that video right here.
where you check it for a level. Front to back is dead on. Side to side is dead on. Now we can backfill the rest of it. Rinse off all the concrete. I'm not worried about that excess water now getting into the concrete. It's topped off with sand. Just gotta take the extra soil and put it around the telephone pole, and level off the backside here. I'm gonna fill this all up front and level it off so we'll use as much of this fill as we can before we get into the good gravel. Gotta make sure we clean up our tools. We don't want that concrete setting up. There, just like we never mixed concrete in it before. That's how you put a 20 foot long telephone pole into a four foot hole. You guys like the video? Hold on, it's not over yet. So we gotta let the concrete set up before we can install the arm. So tomorrow we're gonna be installing our outright arm to hang whatever you wanna hang off of it. We can hang the pigs, we can hang deer, we can hang cows. We can hang a tire swing. Let me show you. This morning we mortised a hole into it. So that's where the arm is going to come out. We're going to have a 45 off the bottom of it. If you want to see how we're going to do that, that'll be tomorrow's video. So if you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It's really helping the channel grow. If you haven't already subscribed, now's a perfect time to go down there, hit the subscribe button, turn on the little bell icon. When you hit the little bell icon, that turns on notifications and lets you know every time we upload a video or go live. If you want to dig deeper into Alumna Acres and what we do here, you can go on over to our website and check it out. I'll put a link here and in the description down below. The modern steaders are just loving it. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Alumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.